Hello guys, we are back once again, because we finally have something interesting to talk about. Mm -hmm. It's been three long weeks, and well here we are. I guess this is his fourth account now. He's a glutton for punishment. It is THE Mr. Noob Warrior. And as you can see, he's got a new application out for us. Just a bunch of derisive channel comments. Been waiting for this for a while. Yeah. He's he's had some preview videos for a while, but he finally released it just today. So let's take a look at the site. It's still Viola Soft, but now it's a cloud scanner, I guess. Alright. So we got Viola Soft Security, we protect your PC. Oh, I see. Fixed requirements. Good for you. Great. Alright, let's Get take check that out. Home user. Oh, Viola Soft Global Busesness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Viola Soft Portable Security New. <laughs> what is going on? Perimeter security. Mm. Oh, interesting. It's so, like a fence. Yeah. Free no license needed. Portable we'll software. Huh. Hang on, I gotta answer the phone. Alright. Alright, we're back. Uh, Amp had to take a phone call there. So, yep. looking at home user PC, still got the MD5 technology scanner. Uh, internet security for Messenger. <laughs> Another category for VeloSoft Global Security. Three type scanning options, lots of useful tools. But the cloud protection is what interests me the most. Oh, yeah. Because you got, like, it's light and easy to use. Low on RAM. Huh. Does it come with RAM? I, or... I guess so. But it's low on it. Okay. Friendly user interface. All right, let's check out. All right, this is this is bothering me. I'm noticing the title bar is like right yeah. away or something. That, what that, is going on with that? That's what I noticed. It's not even like spaced evenly. It's just a whole shit ton of spaces <laughs> for no reason. It might be okay if you added some spaces on the right hand side, but mm -hmm. features. First, All right. first carries and portable Windows firewall. Second, you have three scanning options, program files, quick scan, and custom scan. Third, detects latest malware using our MD5 database. Fourth, updates and quick download. Fifth, many other tools. Sixth, a support center. Seventh is my favorite, friendly, yes. non-rogue looking <laughs> interface. That is the most brilliant thing yes. you could have put. Eighth, I don't a lot. Think... Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, I don't think we ever said it looked like a rogue interface. I think we just said it looked like shit. Yeah, pretty much. If it looks Man. like this, I'm not very impressed <laughs> so far. Very it's, friendly. Spyware remove bell. Our powerful and light RAM usage program will take out even the toughest piece of malware. As long as it's in the text file. Easy advanced security system. Advanced. advanced. Visual basic. <laughs> accurate yeah it's accurate at comparing hashes to a list well I thought I think my video froze or something alright can you see me moving try minim no I don't see anything alright what am I minimizing uh yeah try to minimize and see what happens anything there we go all right. yeah no it's working now alright alright all right. Our software also carries such tools as disk cleanup, portable firewall network setup, and a lot more useful tools. Great. Requirements. .NET Framework 3.5. Same requirements as before. Download. We've already downloaded it. It's just a media fire link. And so... One more thing we'd like to check out is this thread that he posted on Malwarebytes forums. 
Now his last account where he was bad mouthing Malwarebytes was banned. And his post has been edited by now, but he used to have links mm -hmm. to his site. What is up with this? Why? What? Their spaces are here now, but they put. New what order. is going on? You confuse me. Mm. Alright, so. I guess he posted some links, and you can look at my videos. And then Comprev, once again, just destroys him. You do realize that you can check all of the protection boxes at the same time. <laughs> oh, man. We gotta be looking for that. Yeah. And then this guy, Wild Man, this good guy, he just destroys him. Mm -hmm. That thing is garbage, and you should be embarrassed to produce such a piece <laughs> of crap. And truer words were never spoken. And yes. Thanks for giving us your rogue so much easier than hunting them. So it failed the EI car test file. That is surprising. Yes. Even for him. That's I just mean, embarrassing. That's like the first thing that yeah. somebody making a antivirus and visual basic would have. Yeah. You gotta pass that. Or detect it, whatever. It downloads its update from a malicious IP. It didn't detect anything. It allowed malware <laughs> to run a folder with 154 pieces of malware and it didn't detect not one of them. Beautiful. Wow. So here's the MVAM log. 154 files infected. Just... Back again. You might as well quit now. Close topic. Alright. So now let's actually check out our program. Violasoft Portable Still got the MD5s. Great. Uh, oh, shit. Oh. Oh, now we're dealing with the future? Oof. We protect your... It's frozen. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. Delete all. <laughs> the return of the delete all button. What? Yes. All we right. did it. <laughs> it worked, I guess. Beautiful. Oh, man. Pause scan. Quick scan. Custom scan. Cancel. Man. What is the resource usage on this? Oh god. Jesus. <laughs> Using up 50% of the processor. <laughs> Holy shit. Pause scan. Okay. Um Why is the quick scan scanning cursor files? I don't know, man. You know those cursors, they yeah. just get infected all the time. Just malicious everywhere. That should be the first place everybody looks. Delete. Delete all. Delete all cursors? I guess. Okay. Delete all removes whatever it is it's trying to remove. There's no hmm. text on the menu. That's kind of bothering me here. Huh. Disable real time. Disable firewall. I, I guess that disabled. Oh, oh it sure. did. Wow. Okay. Windows update. So it starts it. It starts the Windows update process through Internet Explorer. When you click on the update button. Hmm. Windows tour button. Notepad. Huh. I don't see why you need that in an antivirus. We gotta get some remote assistance. Alright. I bet that just opens the remote assistance wizard. Oh. Damn. Didn't even think of that. It didn't even do anything. Huh. Hmm. Okay. Enable firewall. Enable real time. Save settings. Settings have been saved. Okay. Help and support center. 
telling you how to use a remote assistance. Let's see what this button update whiz. Yeah. Apparently this is malicious. This is rad as shit. I don't know where it's saving it to, but I press download anyway. I'm assuming... I guess it's saving back to the folder that it's running from, but... Is he that smart, though? Maybe. If we cancel it while it's downloading, do we, like, lose all the MD5s? <laughs> That's a very good question. Does it do anything? Probably not. Okay. Help and support. This product is very easy to use. Just simply press all the buttons on top and they will lead <laughs> you to new areas. <laughs> oh. Updates We're are... having an, an adventure with this program. <laughs> just going everywhere. Updates are easy to just click download to get the... Oh god. <laughs> to get the updates and cancel if you don't want them but they are very important and you need them every week <laughs> if you need any more help contact our team at youtube.com slash user slash the mr newboy huh. for some reason it's using an arrow type task <laughs> menu bar All right, let's do custom scan on our malware folder Still didn't find anything. I still love that. I mean, it's just like this program is very easy to use. Just do everything mm -hmm. on it. Just click everything. Yeah. Eventually, you figure out what the hell you're supposed to be doing. <laughs> File shredder. Open files. Does nothing. Come on. Delete all files. <laughs> Cannot delete that file. Okay. What? I guess so. This thing is still chugging. What is it? Oh. Oh. Damn. Uh. Okay. Well. Maybe that was just task manager. But it's still our highest program by far. Mm -hmm. It's double Internet Explorer. Alright. Command and control. Opens command prompt. Makes sense. This should work, right? Go. Yes. Oh. Access. Oh, because it's open, probably. Yeah. It deleted something. Oh, it deleted the MD5s. Oh, well. Oops. Will it just, like, die now, or...? No, it's still going. I guess. Should try to do another scan. Alright. Watch it, like, break. Program file scan. I'm still scanning. Well. It's not gonna find anything. This isn't even a cloud scanner at all, what the hell? It's exactly the same as Trendfire Security mm -hmm. SE and Tyler's. But it's like, wouldn't a cloud scanner imply that it's doing something with a cloud as opposed to a localized thing? Yeah, I mean, everything's just stored on your hard drive. God damn it, this update. <laughs> the cancel button doesn't work. Well. So his, his advice about just, if you don't want them, cancel it, but that doesn't work. So pressing download breaks everything, and you can't cancel it. <laughs> Brilliant. Alright, I guess I don't have much more to say about that. There's only four tabs no, this time. Yep, it seems like he has improved maybe some of it, but overall it's the same program as Trendfire. Yeah. I mean, with extra buttons. Yeah, and some interesting choices to make. Mm-hmm.